What's going on, guys? In this call I had with Chris last week, we sat down and talked about accountability. I think one of the biggest things that he wants to work on is building that accountability because now he's at a mindset where he wants to make significant progress and he just essentially needs that accountability to get there. Most of the stuff that I talk about in our calls is based off our ebook series we created, Three Hacks That Boost Mood and Well-Being. You can get it in the description below or right up here. And with that, let's get into it. What's up, Tony? How you doing, dude? Dude, it's it's been it's been a rough few weeks, you know, for sure. Um, both mentally, physically, you know, emotionally. Let me give you a quick update on, on what's been going on. So sure. um the last time like I went to the gym gym, uh, what is it? Today's March 25th. So it's been it's been, I think, since late February. I feel like almost a month like since out of the gym fully, uh, mainly because uh, the last like week of February, the first week, the first like two weeks of March, uh, it was a combination of I had family in town and it was like finals week in college, right? So between trying to play like host for them and you know trying to get all my studies in and whatnot, I just didn't have time to actually physically go to the gym. Um, we not saying we didn't work out because you know it's Hawaii and we walked a lot. Mm. Like we did a lot of hiking, we did a lot of like full body stuff, uh, where like the next day you were just like exhausted and sore. Um, and then that was that was right after March 8th. That was like my birthday, it was March 8th, by the way, guys. Birthday. Um, so the uh uh the following week, um I had neck surgery. So the doctors thought. I might have a tumor on my neck. They're not entirely sure. They haven't like, come back with the results. But basically, they're like, hey, uh, we're going to we're gonna get you in for surgery. Uh, and then so last week, uh, last Tuesday, I had I had neck surgery. So pretty much I was like, I've been laid up since then with that. And my family left like on the 8th, but also on the 8th, my dog went into surgery, had his eyeball removed. So it was like from the 8th to the 15th, which is like Tuesday to Tuesday, it was, I had to like be with my dog because make sure like he didn't like, you know, scratch his stitches out and make sure he was all right. So I couldn't leave the house. Like I, I literally, anytime I was, I'm going to leave my dog alone more than 10 minutes. I had to have a sitter with him, you know? And so uh, I was with him. I was pretty much like, I, the only time I went outdoors was if it was in my backyard to let the dog go to the bathroom. Cause like, I couldn't even like let him out there and I had to be with him. So it was a whole thing for like two weeks. And then I was laid up with, with my neck thing you know, coming off the drugs and the pain and all that stuff, like all last week. Well, this week I was like, okay, well, we're, I, I'm tired of this. Uh, I'm just feeling sluggish. I'm feeling slow. Um, and I've, I've noticed that I started feeling super fucking down, right. Just super down. And, and I felt like all my progress I'd made up to this point had, had been gone. Had been, you know, I want to say wasted because like I, my weight was back up again the uh i just felt like slow and sluggish and that that you know and depressed that kind of made me go back into some old habits as far as eating i was still eating like okay but i wasn't eating amazing right and and i ate more bad i think than i did good <coughs> excuse me so this whole week has just been my entire schedule has been filled up with doctor's appointments uh i've I've gone to the doctor today's Friday. So between Monday and Thursday, I've gone to the doctor every single day for, for my next stuff. Mainly it's just one specialist or another specialist. They're all, they're all doing stuff. And of course the hospital's an hour drive away from me. And so it's two hours, an hour there, an hour back, plus whatever we spend there. And it's just, I just haven't physically had the time. Well, Monday I was like, nope, we're going to the gym. We're making time. We're going to figure this out. Well, I went to the gym and I forgot the gym is closed Mondays and Thursdays. So I was like, oh gosh, darn it. So I hopped on my bike. I just did my, I did a 40 minute Nordic track biking, right? And I, I went hard and, and by the end of it, I just felt, I felt good, right? I was like, oh man, this is amazing. Like I filmed the video on it um, and, and I'll send it over to you, but I felt, I felt real good after that. And I felt real good like Tuesday and Wednesday, still riding that Monday bike high. Mm -hmm. Well, Tuesday, I couldn't go. Wednesday, I couldn't go because again, the doctors, uh, but Thursday, yesterday, I sat down and I was like, uh, you know what? We're going to make time today. We're going to go to the gym. And then I forgot the gym was closed Mondays and Thursdays. So I made it, I went to the gym. And I was like, oh, gosh, darn it. So uh, instead, because uh, I was already out there, I, I went to like to the gym gym. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, well, I'm just going to take a walk. 
So I just took like a, they had like this like little park area there. So I I just took like a you know twenty minute walk around the park just to get outdoors and the move get some movement in. And and while I was doing that yesterday, I was just like, man, like why am I failing so hard at this, right? Uh, and I understand like failure is a part of the process, you know, and and you know and everything else. And it's all it's a, a lot of it's mindset. Well, I started thinking about the time I was back in the basic training. This is back in 2008. And I went into basic training weighing 187, 190 pounds or so. And it's eight weeks long, two months. And at the end of the two months, I left weighing 149 pounds. Um, not on purpose, you know, but that's, that's just the way, the way it was. And, and I was like, well, I remember in basic training, I had headaches all the time. Cause obviously if you're going to drop 40 pounds in two months, like it's, not healthy mm. right um and i was like what what made me have such a significant weight loss and part of it was we had like 45 seconds to eat food three times a day so it was literally just whatever you could crave in there right a lot of it was soup and stuff and i was like we worked out every like all the time every day you know it was like we'd wake up in the morning we would go down to the sleep to the to the pad and we would do like our 30 40 minutes of smoke session of jumping jacks you know crunches you know flutter kicks you know whatever whatever it was push-ups and then it's like okay now we're going to go on a two three mile run and you know and then we go on a two three mile run uh whatever whatever distance that was it was you know it was different sometimes it was around the track sometimes it was street sometimes it was cadence whatever but once you got done with that you'd go make your beds do all your do all your you know military stuff and then it was like okay everywhere you went you ran uh, so it was like, we're going to, we're going to, we need to go to a, to our class so we can teach you about military, whatever. And you ran, you know, in formation, but you ran to that next, the next thing. Then you'd sit there for an hour and then, oh no, someone in the back yawned. So the whole class is on the ground doing pushups, right. You know, or whatever. And so that you were constantly working out all day long, like every day. And at the end of the day, like I, I remember about halfway through, so about a month into it, at the end of the day, I was like, hey, man, I, I want to make sure I'm going to pass my PT test. So we would just start doing pushups for the fun of it, right? And we still had the, I mean, we were sore, but we still had the energy to go. And I was like, I just, I, I, don't, I don't know if I just need to incorporate more movement into my, into my daily lifestyle. And I'm not necessarily saying I need to drop 40 pounds in two months, although that would that would be nice from a vanity standpoint, terrible from a health standpoint, but I wanted to, I, I want to, I think, I guess I would want to get more accountability. I want to go all in. Like when I was going to the gym yesterday, man, I sat down, I looked at the new schedule you made uh, for, for the workout. I was like, okay, let's do this. I was like, I couldn't do the rear delt fly just because of how bad my shoulders are. Mm -hmm. But I looked up like alternate exercises where I could accomplish the same motion, same thing. And I was like, oh, I can do this, like with the pole machine. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was like, I, I can do, I can do this, and and without injuring myself, and and I, dude, I, I was like, okay, let's do this, and um, and then obviously the gym was closed, so I couldn't. But point is, I was like, I, I really want to get into this. I really want to do this because I, I don't know. I mean, I sat down yesterday. Uh, I went to the beach at night, you know, and uh, just sat there just to think. You know, I only was there for like twenty minutes, but I was thinking to myself, I was like, what kind of life do I want to have what kind of person do I want to end up being you know and I was like well I want to be a father one day I want to do all this stuff one day I want to go hiking I want to start this new brand this new person I was like then I was like the person who I was I can't I can't continue being that person nothing mm -hmm. wrong with that person they they were needed they got me to where I am but I need I need to be a new person and I just need to I need to change I need to figure it out but I need to change more than just my diet right like i feel like i just need to change my lifestyle you know i need to change a lot about me and and, and that's hard because looking at it i was like i got to tear down like 90 percent of who i am mm -hmm. you know and i got to rebuild myself up and that and i was like well i want to be more confident i want to be more driven i want to have more friends or i want to do this and that and you know i sat down and i just kind of outlined a bunch of stuff <clears throat> and i was like in order to in order to become this person that I want to be, I need I need to change more than just my diet, right? Mm -hmm. And I need to change I need to change like my lifestyle, who I who I am as a core, and and that's kind of where I want to what I want to do moving forward. Because I know it's like if I can start doing all this, then I can start really losing the weight, and I can start. You can't see it. I was moving my hand, but I was like 
I want to start, you know, losing the weight. I can start becoming the person I'm going to be. I can start getting out of the depression and I can start, you know, not worrying that I'm going to die of a heart attack in three years, you know, or, you know, whenever you have heartburn, you're like, is today the day? You know, am I, am I, you know, take me, you know, kind of thing. Uh, you know, it's like, I hope I wake up in the morning, you know, kind of thing. And it's, it's uh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to do that anymore. Yeah. And, and I want to, I want to do whatever I can to make this happen. And, and, you know, it's, I can either continue to be stressed and depressed because of my weight and my lifestyle, uh, or I could be stressed and depressed while also trying to do something about it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's like, what's my heart going to be, you know, as, as a couple people, some people say, but that's my update, man. Like I've, uh, I've been, I feel like I, since November, when we've started, I've emotionally grown a lot. Like I've mm-hmm. physically grown a lot. Like I've changed mm-hmm. my perspective. And I was like, I understand that I had to go through that. And I also understand that I'm impatient, but like moving forward, I, I want to start figuring something out. Mm-hmm. So where we, we are, where I can make this happen. You know what I mean? Definitely. I think the, you know, the accountability piece is probably one of the biggest factors, especially now, you know, you have the mindset that's there. Um, it's time to bring in that accountability. Um, you, you know how, how we've been still focusing on growing the Facebook group. I think that mm-hmm. if we do a daily thing, it's like, have you trained today or have you worked out today? Yeah. Um, you, you know, we should definitely do that because I actually, ha- I, now that I think about it, when I was in Texas, I actually sat down with one of the guys that's, that has his own uh, fitness brand. And mm-hmm. he was saying how at the end of the day, he is like, he usually does like the macronutrient tracking or calorie tracking. He's like, post your progress, like post your food. I got to see it. And like, if there's like one person in the group that doesn't do it, they're like, come on, bro. What happened? What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I think if we have like a lot more activity in the Facebook group and kind of treat it as that, where it's like, bro, mm-hmm. where are you at today? Um, I think that, that would be great. Um, I probably will sit down and make a video about that probably on another, okay. I'll probably sit down and do a live call even today, okay. just depending on how, you know, with my work schedule and stuff. But, uh, I could definitely sit on a live call and be like, all right, guys, at the end of every, like around, you know, 7 PM, you know, at a specific time, it could be 7 PM, your time, 7 PM, our time. Um, just yeah. be like, all right, did you guys train today? Did you guys work out today? Um, mm-hmm. how was your progress with nutrition and all that stuff? We just constantly update ourselves throughout the day. I'll even, I'll even post myself there because sometimes I'll be honest with you. Uh, my nutrition has not been on point, uh, mainly because I feel like whenever scandalous, I know atrocity, <laughs> atrocity, but, uh, <laughs> atrocity. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> you have sinned. No, um, it's Shut one, of the thing- believer. <laughs> <laughs> one of those things where, um, uh, with daylight savings, dude, I feel like that, lo- like that whole entire, I'm not going to try to blame that strictly because I haven't been on point. My dad brought home some junk and I was like, dude, come on. Like, why are you, Dude, come on. <laughs> why are you bringing this? And I'm like, I'm like, you out of all people, you know, you're dealing with your, your underlying health conditions. And then he's like, nah, I just want you guys to feel good. I'm like, no, no, this is going to kill us. <laughs> I'm like, this is going to, this is like a long-term death that we have going yeah. on. Here. It's not a short-term thing. But, um, to, uh, the other day I was just like, my mindset kind of shifted where I was like, okay, I got to monitor what I'm eating. And I also like the junk food, I'm going to throw in like the highest cabinet away from my face. Cause I'm like five foot 10. So I can't really reach it. I'm kind of like a short guy with the cabinets there, but, uh, it helped a lot because I'm, I'm able to like sit down and be like, okay, instead of the, the food I have to climb up and get, um, this, you know, it, it was one of those things where I like, I'm going to grab some tea instead to kind of like just sip on and see how that feels. And that helped a lot. Um, yeah. And uh, I, feel, I feel like it's one of those things where even that I need to have an accountability piece myself to be like, mm-hmm. all right, guys, I screwed up just being transparent in the group. I feel like that that's going to provide a lot of value in the long term. And I uh, definitely want to help, you know, not just, you know, it, it's part of that thing where we really want to help us help each other out on this journey. Um, you know, it's not it's not just a physical one, but it's a mental health one. And that stuff can surprisingly impact us negatively. So I think that accountability piece will help us achieve our goals. Mm-hmm. So, and, and I, and I agree. And something I've been thinking about a lot, you know, with my own personal brand and my own, my own life and stuff is, is I know in the past, I was always afraid of doing things like with my brand, like, do I, like I, I used to, you know, I used to do like a cancer support company and, and I was like, you know, do I want to do this? Can I do this? What are people going to say? You know, and it's kind of the same thing, like with the fitness journey, 
but it's like who cares right no one no one really cares and i was like and if they and if they not you know not no one cares but you know it's like no one no one cares but and if they do care you know they don't actually matter right like if people are like negative like if if, if you're trying to do a fitness journey you're trying to lose weight and you're like i know i guess embarrassed you're like i don't want to put on there like my progress photos or you know even private facebook group i was like no no one's going to judge you you know what i mean and if they do judge you it's not like it really matters because like i was thinking again you know while i was at the beach today i was like people from my hometown i was like oh man i don't want like my family and my cousins and whatever to be like man what is chris doing you know what i mean like with his brand uh, and i feel like this also ties into fitness and i was like yeah but what are they doing with their life yeah. right you know what i mean it's like i was like yeah i don't know a whole lot about like what they're doing with their life but when they if they if they did i'm not i don't care mm-hmm. you know oh you started this business didn't work out oh, well, that sucks you know or oh you're, you're trying to do this fitness journey or whatever oh, okay cool you know what i mean and i was like and if they do care like it doesn't really matter all those guys i went to high school with i was like very few of them actually made it out of the hometown like mm-hmm. there are multiple of them are selling drugs behind 7-eleven you know what i mean and they were like you know the the cool kids you know and in uh in in high school so i was like it doesn't really matter so just just do it right yeah and i I feel like that's super important and you know what's really cool about social media today i know there's pros and cons of it you know yeah talking about the trolls and stuff but like what's really cool about social media today is like it's so it's so connected that we're also decentralized if that makes sense where it's like Mm -hmm. oh let's just jump in this community and we surround ourselves with like-minded people and like just being a part of that community will help us transform ourselves along the way and Mm -hmm. uh it's so awesome now because it's like you know a lot of people complain about the algorithms of like facebook and instagram and while they're while they suck if you're trying to get you know you're trying to go and find that your person right you're trying to find the audience of people it may may suck on that but when people come in there it's like it's an i don't even know how to explain it it's like one of those things where you're they, they feel safe there like it's their area they can just walk in and be like welcome and yeah you know based on their specific interests and i think that's huge especially in this day and age that, that you need that community piece because like i think i've seen a paper on this where it was like more we're more connected now but we're more depressed than ever before and yeah. it, it's it says a lot about you know society as a whole and i think uh parts of this i kind of learned from uh i read a book called tribe i don't think i have it either but it's tried by Sebastian Junger. And mm-hmm. he talks about how like the hardest times were, were, were when people came together and really bonded and really built meaning in their lives. And I yeah. feel like we have to kind of create that for us. We have to kind of manufacture that for ourselves. <coughs> and I think that communities would probably be the best option for that than having that accountability part in it. So we're definitely working towards that. I'm going to keep, you know, Keep, I'm going to keep doing these lives like, like we were talking about. It probably helps with the algorithm get to the right people. And we'll definitely see where that goes. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I know like in our entrepreneurs group, they, they talk about your mindset is, it's something like your mindset is the top five or the most recent five voices you hear, right? Mm-hmm. So if you want to start a business, listen to, you know, don't listen to like your parents or your friends, you know, who say you can't do it, tone them out and listen to instead to audiobooks and podcasts and you know, mm-hmm. put that as your constant voice. And I think it'd be yeah. the same thing with the fitness journey. And, you know, if, if you have people in your household or whatever, that's like, oh, you're on a fitness journey. That's cool. Well, we're still going to stock the fridge full of soda and, and, you know, cheeseburgers all the time. You know what I mean? Like it just makes it a little harder. Just, I guess, you know, be around more people who are on the same journey you are, you know, so you have that strength. You know yeah. what I mean? Absolutely. And I, I think that's, I think that'll help me a lot because I, I really want this to happen. I really, really want to make it happen. I just know it's like, once I start seeing steady progress, then I'm like, you know, then, then it's just the momentum picks up and it's like, okay, you know, we definitely got this going, you know, uh, but it's until then, man, it's just, I feel like it's just a cycle. I'm trying to, I just need to break the cycle, you know? Hell yeah, dude, we're definitely going to get there. You know, like you, like you mentioned before, the mindset, your mindset has shifted so much this mm-hmm. is the beginning of the journey and now it's like the body's catching up now it's time for the body to catch up yeah so we're definitely gonna get there dude cool man i appreciate it no problem any other questions for me uh no not at the moment um like i said i i want to start working out 
I know it's going to be slow for the first couple of weeks again, just because the whole next thing, I don't want to over, mm -hmm. over strain anything or yeah. you know, do anything the doctor says I can't do. But I want to, I want to at least get in there and get the movement in. That, that was my thing yesterday yes. is I wanted to get in there and get the movement going. Uh, even if we're doing, you know, just real lightweight, it's just, we're there, we're moving, we're getting the body back to being like, okay, yeah, like we're, let, let's, let's just get this high going again. But uh, at the moment, no, I know we talked before from my fitness journey, uh, it's like an upper body day, a lower body day, and then like a full body day uh, thrown in the mix. And then I'd like to throw in one to two hiking days during the mm -hmm. week as well, just so I can get outdoors and I do my thing, you know, because that, that's full body and uh, we'll kind of see where it is. I know upper body is my favorite day you yeah. know, because you know, I, I don't like leg day, man. You know? <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> but I'll do it. I'll do it, you know, but cool. That's where I'm at. Uh, if I have any questions, I'll hit you up for sure. I know uh, I'll get more active in the Facebook group and start posting my journey in there. Cool. Awesome. And then I'll definitely, you know, be more active in that myself, even though I post every once in a while. I think that mm -hmm. have you trained today or have you ate good today type of stuff is like, yeah, that'll be pretty awesome to see just everyone think. Yep. So awesome, dude. Well, all right, cool. I'll catch you here in a little bit. Then. I appreciate it. No problem, man. Great talk. Right. Thanks, Tony. No problem. Later. Later.